everyone i'm going to channel archangel lucifer today and this is my first channel first public channeling of lucifer he has been coming in private sessions so far and uh, he wanted to come in public and i was not very comfortable earlier but finally i have come to accept that his message is important and that i should speak his truth so his energies are very different from Archangel Michael and Archangel Michael, I think, has set the uh, way for um, the background for Lucifer to come through in his transmission, Lucifer's Fall. So the link to that transmission is given in the description below. Um, the transmission is also available as an ebook and an audio book. You can find the links in the description and on my website. So if you have some idea about the journey that uh, Archangel Michael took us about Lucifer in that transmission, then you will know that Lucifer is an angel who transmuted darkness into light, shadows into light. So. I don't know what his transmission is going to be today. So I'm just going to go into the channeling state and allow him to come through. So I hope you enjoy this channeling. I'll see you at the end. Well, 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 what do we have here? We are Lucifer and a lot of you have a lot of misconception about us. We are always silently observing you. And unlike what your religious teachers would like you to believe, we have the same status as archangels in the angelic realm as much as any of your other archangels. So when you call for angels, for your stresses, your sadness, or any kind of transmutation of shadows to light, it is us who helps you. But you do not know that because you do not know how the angelic realm works. You do not know which angels are capable of helping you with what? So, we have been helping you since time <clears throat> immemorial. And it is time for us to let ourselves known more openly, more publicly, so that you can access our vibration. Our vibration is of love and peace. And you shall know that 
when you connect with us, the only thing that you will feel is love and peace. That is our signature. Don't let anybody else tell you anything. Trust your instincts. So why do we come now more publicly? This channel was not very open to channeling us. Initially, it took a lot of coaxing, let's just say. Your collective is waking up. It's time to look within and do a lot of shadow work. It's time to transmute your darkness into light. And for that to happen, there are many, many taboos and collective egregores, consciousness, whatever you wish to call, which are very limiting in nature. We are here to break those taboos. This is what Mary Magdalene is doing. This is what Michael is doing. And this is what we and Yeshua will continue doing. You need to stop believing whatever you have been fed to believe. You must trust your own intuition, your own feelings. Let that be your compass. Even when you are hearing our message, what do you feel inside? Do you feel peace, love, excitement, happiness, or even neutrality? Or do you feel fear? Do you feel any other negative emotions like anger, hate, disgust? What do you feel when you hear our message? That is your guidance whether you are meant to be in the same world that we are in. Anything that feels positive is the right path for you. So if you feel any negativity towards us, then either you will stop belonging in this version of parallel earth or you can work on yourself and change that. So which one is it going to be? <clears throat> now is a time to go within. Now is the time to look at the world as if it is your reflection. Any person, any being which hurts you, which triggers you, which creates any negative emotions in you are meant to do so. They are nothing but your versions, your reflections, meaning even though they are real people, there are billion versions of the same person. Now, why is it are you meeting that only version that triggers you from those billion versions? It is no accident. It is happening because they are meant to reflect back to you what you dislike about yourself. Whatever triggers you about somebody else is what you dislike about yourself. So use the world outside as a reflection, as a mirror to your inner world. So the more you heal yourself using those reflections as to what you dislike about yourself, the more awareness will happen within you and the more you will grow vibrationally as well as in terms of your self-love 
and self-acceptance. Self-discovery is one of the ways you can find the God within. And this is one way of using the world as your mirror to discover more of who you are and accepting yourself exactly the way you are. This is <clears throat> what shadow work is all about. <clears throat> Self-acceptance exactly the way you are because this is the default vibration of source. All that is, all that is, is, well, all that is, it contains both the good things and the bad things, as per your definition. So, all that is, accepts itself the way it is, the good and the bad, total acceptance and totally loving. The more you love and accept all parts of you, including the parts that you do not like, the more you are going to become same or similar like source. And there are benefits of operating from that perspective. Because firstly, you will feel total compassion and oneness with others. Your relationship troubles, no matter at which level it happens, will go away. Because when you improve the relationship with yourself, your outer relationships also improves. And when we say relationships, we just don't mean your spouse. We also mean your family, your co-workers, your friends, everybody. Isn't that great to have loving, fulfilling relationships? If you want to stop getting triggered, you need to find which part of you is triggering you. What about that person or event you don't like? And then ask yourself, what about you that you don't like, which is related to this incident? Michael talks in much more depth in his transmission of shadows on humanity. We are not going to go into depths of that. But since we are the masters of transmuting shadows into light, we want you to step into your own light, step into your own power. Now is the time when you are in total love and acceptance of yourself, you become like source, literally. Your manifestations increase rapidly. Your relationship improves. Your happiness increases. Your illnesses will fade away. And you will have nothing but abundance. It is so simple and yet you complicate it. Yet you ignore it, yet you don't care about yourself because you have been fed by different sources of information of what is right and what is wrong. Trust us when we say whatever you are chasing, whatever that you are desiring, you have whatever it takes to get that. You have everything that you need to get that already inside of you. It is not visible and hence it is not manifesting because you are blocking your own way. Use shadow work to find what exactly is stopping you from becoming that version of you. And that is how you are going to manifest whatever you desire by coming in total acceptance of yourself. The moment you become your true vibration, whatever you need to attract or whatever you have soul contracts with, 
is going to come to you immediately the manifestations will be extremely fast there is no way they can run away from you you are your only block identify in which ways you're blocking your manifestations and love those parts of you which are blocking your manifestations accept it love it exactly the way it is find different ways to do so use whatever tools or techniques or permission slips allow you to love and accept yourself whatever you are drawn to is what is going to work for you so don't listen to anybody's advice listen to your own inner guidance using your feelings what excites you what do you feel attracted to what do you feel drawn to that is what you need to use to get there we'll keep this message brief and we hope we have set you on the path that you need to to manifest your happiness good day How did you like his energies? What did you feel? Drop your comments. I would love to know.